the second episode of Pong's Book Club, where I make a recommendation of book or video uh, from this week's uh, O'Reilly Learning Platform. Well, it has been really um, a couple of even for weeks for me. Uh, I have my heart checked and also have my uh, first ever gastroscope, uh, which I have to say it is not as painful at painful as I expected um, and more so uh, on a break with some uh, one who is really important to me um, uh, all these things together they really don't make my uh, transition period to my next job as exciting as I would hope uh, but you know um, the video series will be back and I promise to have more uh, episodes in the near future so let's get back to business and uh, in this week's episode I'm going to recommend a really interesting and useful book uh, uh, could be uh, uh, in terms of like an attribution theory I would say this this book single-handedly contributed to 10% of my conversion uh, to the to subscriber of the O'Reilly learning platform okay so the book is called big data demystified uh, it's written by David Stephenson, published by FT uh, Publishing Inter International uh, on February 2018. So as I was saying in the first episode, uh, the O'Reilly Learning Platform, it is really not just limited to uh, technical publishers. So in this episode, you can see the book is published by Financial Times Paper Press, um, which is really covers more uh, like overall business and management uh, management site uh, and if I click here I think I should see all the books from this uh, publisher yes so here topics they cover uh, is from financial analysis to leadership uh, to strategy uh, and that there are a lot of books he just here I can recommend it's like for example uh, the key MBA models um, all this uh, and I think also a book called key yes key business analytics uh, covers uh, I think 50 or 60 uh, key analytics methods used in uh, overall business environment uh, it's really good reading I probably will make a video about this book uh, later okay but just let me go back to the book I'm going to recommend this week um, so this book um, so in the visual episodes, I'm going to try to break down the video into three sections, which uh, which are why you should read this book, and how uh, and what uh, what are this what this book covers, and uh, how you should uh, make the best value of this book. So uh, the why for this book is very straightforward, as the author has uh, written very clearly in the introduction, uh, and I mean although the book is published in 2018 I think the big data is already very mainstream uh, at, at that time uh, and, and you really um, you really should have an, a good idea about like what big data is about and uh, the practical ways that you can use it to um, uh, guide your strategy or uh, improve your business performance uh, but the problem for a lot of the readers who have no uh, technical uh, technical uh, expertise is um, a lot of big data is built around you know the the Hadoop environment and the also related the technology and a lot of the business decision makers they don't uh, have the um, knowledge to understand how these things work so you really should read a book like this one to give your um, overall understanding about uh, the big data and how to use use them. You know, the use is more important to understand or like all these like technical details. So if you go through the overall chapters, the book is very well structured. Uh, the first part is called the big data de demystified. Well, they uh, well we talk about you know how big data involves into such a big uh, phenomenon. And what are the key, like the hot buzzwords like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and what's their relationship with big data, and why is it useful, and the key use case 
for the big data annex. I especially uh, like uh, to also use bracket brackets uh, for the word big because a lot of the ideas uh, like the 20 common business applications here are not limited to data analytics. If we read read through them, you can understand how these things are helping your daily work. Okay, and then uh, the whole the big data ecosystem, you know, from the uh, architecture to the you know how to import uh, external sources, data sources into your own like data warehouse, and then how to use them, and also like the cloud computing, how uh, how that going to help your current IT infrastructure. Uh, it's very important to read for uh, anyone. And then part two is making the data, uh, big data work for your organization. These are more uh, specialized towards your own um, uh, in industry or your own company. So it's more like implementation, you know, um, uh, like chapter eight is about implementing data science, you know, special analytics methods, algorithm, and machine la learning ideas, how you can use them, and choosing your technologies. Different uh, solutions have different pricing structure and the different requirement for your own computing power. Uh, so these are, the, the whole book is very good in this way, you know, that help you go through uh, the whole uh, big data environment. Um, so that is why you should this book, uh, and I've also probably also already covered you know what this book is about. Uh, but before I jump into special uh, specific chapters, let me go to the you know uh, I will put the link uh, the Amazon uh, for this book. It's uh, only on uh, Kindle. I think it's only nine uh, nine point nine nine. Um, so you can easily buy this from Kindle and get a good read of the, all the chapters uh, and uh, in the comments and find this one really good is like uh, does it does what it says just demystify big data you know uh, help you on get an understanding of the how this whole thing works and I will also include uh, Dr. David Stephenson's Twitter uh, is at Stephenson underscore data. Uh, you can follow him uh, here. Uh, get to know like what uh, what his uh, recent uh, publications or ideas are. Okay, let me uh, on the how to use this book. Read this free uh, book. Um, my suggestion would be, you know, um, if you are coming from the analytics side like me, uh, spend more time understanding the technical. Technological side, you know, the hardware uh, architecture, the cloud computing, which is uh, something that you may not be so familiar with if you are coming from a statistical background. But you are, if you are on the other side, you come from a traditional IT background, you know everything about the Hadoop and uh, um, the cloud computing. You know, spend more time on the machine learning and artificial uh, artificial intelligence part. And so, um, you can understand um, the whole picture. Okay, uh, I'll just pick uh, a few chapters uh, that I'm really interested in, or I find it uh, very useful. Uh, because I when I reading uh, read this book, I was uh, trying to create um, a, a training session uh, for you know business graduates, and um, the editors or the uh, the uh, the assistants from the uh, institution keep telling me, you know, use uh, straight words, not you know jargons. Uh, and I find this all the information from this book really, really helpful. You know, um, from the first chapter, we talk about how big data comes to to be such a uh, big thing here, and I would draw your attention to some of the graphics. You know, you know, the first chapter is basically talk about uh, why we are having so much data, you know, so much data. Yeah, you see here, uh, a lot of the good examples the author is using is like uh, when we are visiting website, uh, you, you can tell the site is using like JavaScript on the browser to record how to interact with the web page, and this action is recorded and becomes data, you know, and 
uh, he uses underscore here to because they uh, he has a like glossary page at the, at the end, and you can quickly know oh this is the uh, this is the thing like some guys from the um, you know uh, app design or, or IT department are talking about. Now I know how this technology is helping uh, record this data and create the data for me to use, and and. The graph I'm talking about is here. I think you know the two big thing. Uh, one is the historical cost of the disk storage per gigabyte. I have been searching for this graph for a long time, and I think the author is really this is just very straightforward to let you know. You know, uh, it's not just uh, people are creating new data, a lot of new data, but if we don't have this cost reduction over the last uh, 30 or 40 years, there will not be uh, so much data for us to analyze, right? And this is just a um, such a simple and effective way to show, you know, what is really driving, what is the driving force behind the big data. Okay, and then let me go to the chapter four, uh, where it also lists uh, a lot of use cases for uh, data analytics. And you can see here the A/B testing, um, the recommendation engine, um, uh, the forecasting, and all these things are really, you know, in real world, uh, they are how the big data or the artificial intelligence is used in most scenarios. You know, you talk about big data, you can't uh, run out of like industry like uh, in internet or finance or retail. Right, this uh, these industries are well. We have uh, those amount of data, and if you want to see some kind of like a data annex to put into work, you have to go to uh, A/B testing or go to marketing to see how you can, or to social media uh, analyze to see how your you know marketing ROI, your investment can get you a bigger return. And these are the all the like quick win methods that you can uh, you can you can target your your data. And finally, the chapter eight is is behind all these things: the data science, the analytics, the algorithm. And here we talk about, you know, uh, from the descriptive to uh, prescriptive uh, analytics, the different levels. Uh, uh, from the basic, well, we you, you will make a lot of dashboards to tell the business decision makers understand uh, how uh, how our the business is performing, and then you start doing. Uh, more advanced uh, diagnostic or uh, predictive, you know, uh, when the customers comes in, you can um, make recommendations uh, based on the user demographics and other data uh, to make customer segmentations. Um, these are the the real like the real value where the data can help you understand. Um, so, in overall, um, there are a lot of the the good tips and tricks uh, that you can get from this book. So this is the uh, the first book of the video series that I would highly recommend you to read. Um, if you uh, if you are interested, do not hesitate to to uh, either s subscribe to O'Reilly Learning Platform or just buy it from the Amazon. Um, and that will be uh, our first actual book recommendation episode. And thank you for watching.